in this state, everything is effortless. You can effectively use your body and mind at its best. A certain scientist in United States was working on the impact of cannabis on human consciousness. For almost eighteen years, the United States government gave him thirty kgs of marijuana per year to experiment. Eighteen years of experimentation, he produced nothing. So during the late eighties when the drug situation <laughs> was getting bad and they cut this uh, quota, thirty kgs of marijuana that they were giving him, there's nothing doing, we don't know where it's going. He tried to explain that he has done so many things but still it's not come to conclusion but they said nothing doing and cut the marijuana quota. So he moved to Israel. The Israeli government looked at his uh, work and they decided to give him. So they gave him the same thirty kilos of uh, marijuana for another six to eight years. Then he came up with this. He actually produced proof that within the human brain, every human brain, there are millions of cannabis receptors. So this information, what to do with this, they do not know, they threw it across. They gave it to the anthropologists, they gave it to the physiologists, they gave it to the neurologists, they gave it to all kinds of people. There are millions of cannabis receptors in the human brain. What is the explanation? How? Why? So anthropologists said that maybe at some point in history, maybe everybody was doping which cannot be because in many parts of the world it doesn't even grow. So various kinds of explanations came, nothing sensible came out of it. Then the neurologists, after about two and a half years of looking into this in various levels, they said when human being is in a certain state of experience, the human system itself produces the necessary chemicals for which it is waiting. These millions of cannabis receptors are waiting for you to produce it. Those who could not produce it, they try to put it from outside and damage the system. Look at me, I'm always blissed out. Look into my eyes and see I'm stoned. <laughs> Never been in a substance, but always stoned because the very system does this. In India, there's been enormous, in the yogic uh, systems, there's enormous focus on the pineal gland. For a long time, the modern medicine almost ignored it because it's not concerned about day-to-day -day health situations. Today, the maximum that they have come to is they are beginning to say the secretions of the pineal gland, if they're active, there will be no mood swings in you. That's not the point. There is a whole system of yoga to activate the pineal gland. If you activate this and if it generates sufficient amount of secretion, you will be ecstatic every moment of your life. Simply every cell in your body will be bursting all the time. Now when you're like this, if you eat, if you don't eat, if you sleep, if you don't sleep, nothing matters because you're blissed out. In this state, everything is effortless. You can function at the best because you can effectively use your body and mind at its best. There's enough medical proof for this only when you're in utmost pleasantness. You can explore the full potential of what it is when you are in a sustained level of pleasantness within you. Otherwise, you're a damn issue by yourself. It doesn't work. Whatever the effort that human being is making, whether he goes to the temple, goes to the bar, wants to go to heaven, this is a whole effort, isn't it? He wants something larger than what is happening right now to happen to him. Look at this simply, something more will happen only if your perception is enhanced, not otherwise. So the whole system of yoga is only focused towards enhancing your perception. If your perception is enhanced, something more, you don't have to look for it. It is happening in such proportions, you have to learn to handle it. <laughs> Big things will happen.